my put scalar here. I made, um, I will give you a tip. If you have canals in one root and they're close to each other like these two, you may have anatomy like isthmus or um, anastomosis between these root canals, maybe in the middle third, maybe in an apical third, maybe in the coronal third, we don't know it. We, we can expect that it may be there. So imagine if I will just obturate one canal same way as I obturated uh, palatal, when I will be going with a hot plagger through the gutta percha in one canal, it may go or sealer may go to the isthmus and anastomosis to another one and it will be blocked. So that will be difficult then to, to obturate that one. So what we can do, we can, in this case, we can uh, do something like that. So look, I will keep this gutta percha cone in uh, one canal. Then I take plagger and I will be not obturating now. I will cut the tip of the gutta percha, just leaving the rest of gutta percha in canal. So I will try to do it. If I will be able or not, we will see. Okay, so now it's full way down. Then I take uh, hot plugger, and then I will, then I will obturate MB2 here. All the way down, switch off, wait 10 seconds, then activation, comma, remove, uh, black, thin. Mm -hmm. I pack here. Don't remove the tip. Just I pack, 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 pack. Why don't remove tip? Because this tip may be bonded to the gutta percha that stays in MB1. And then if a system will remove it, theoretically, the gutta percha from MB1 will be taken out. You get it or not? Mm -hmm. Keep these two canals filled completely. Do you randomly start with MB2? Or in this case, I decided... Put the gutta percha in MB1 because you think that the MB2 canal is going somewhere into MB1? No, no, no. In my case, they are separate. The both canals are separate. If they are, if they join together, if there's like a two orifices but one apex, it's easy. It's easy. In this case, what you can do, you can just place one good aperture cone to MB1, for example. You can also cut the, the tip. Then you take extruder and you put extruder into MB2 and you fill it. You pack it and then you do hot plugger in MB1. Pack it and then extrude MB1. So that will be an, an interesting uh, sequence. But since these canals are f separate, they are separate. And uh, if I would obturate just MB1, for example, from anastomosis, but the perch can migrate to MB2 and it will be blocked. Yeah. That's why I cut it the tip of MB1, but it stays, the gutta percha stays there. Then I put the gutta percha cone to MB2 and I obturate MB2. But you could also start it the other way. I can, yes, yeah, yeah, it doesn't matter, doesn't matter. Okay. I started with one which will be easy for me to cut at the beginning. For, I'm right-handed, so probably for left-handed, the MB2 will be easier to cut than for me, MB1. So it's not um, a certain sequence that you have to follow. It's just which one is more convenient for you, okay? okay?